tonight. We are once again talking about fires in the region with all the fuel from a cool spring now drying into tinder. Stacy. And once again, we're smashing heat records. I'll tell you who broke the record today coming up in my first alert weather forecast. Also here at six, a scam reportedly targeting renters here in the mid Columbia region. Coming up, the red flags that should send you running. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6 on your side. And good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Austin Reed. And I'm Alyssa Warner. We begin tonight with fire. Mm -hmm. A vegetation fire broke out in the Finley area this morning. This was around 9 a.m. The smoke was seen by people in the area. That fire broke out on Meals and Hover Roads right near the JNS Orchard. We're told some trees were impacted and roads in the area were shut down for a little over an hour. Nobody was hurt in this fire, but firefighters did stay on scene for much of the day, just mopping up, making sure that fire did not reignite. So far tonight, no word on a cause. We are getting into this very potentially dangerous fire weather. Washington State Patrol and the State Fire Marshal's Office are lending a helping hand to local firefighters. Yeah, the state mobilization came at the request late last night of Lower Columbia Fire Defense Region coordinators. Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma spoke to the State Fire Marshal's Office about what state mobilization really means. What this means is that the state will be sending firefighters from Olympia to help fire crews in the lower Columbia area to avoid fires from getting out of control. I spoke with Bill Slauson, the chief deputy state fire marshal, and he says these are the resources that are being made available and where. Any of the um, fire districts can make a request for additional resources and based on, you know, meeting the criteria. So like on this request, uh, we have an, uh, a strength team of engines one each in Kittitas County, working out of Cleelum, Yakima County, working out of West Valley, and Klickitat County, working out of Houston. The Department of Natural Resources declared a statewide burn ban, and the reasoning for these assistance, Slauson says, comes after the excessive heat and fires we have seen. We have some criteria like uh, predicted hot, dry, and windy weather with red flag warnings, uh, coupled with um, a higher than normal fire potential in what we call the seven day outlook and um, cup and, and join that with um, kind of an operational tempo locally of are they getting a lot of fires and wearing their folks out day after day on wildfire. So uh, a combination of those three uh, can get them some extra resources so long as they're available. This aid, Slauson says, is all about keeping wildfires to a minimum. Well, hopefully it's got some extra help right there in their pocket, so to speak, to help them take care of that fire. And the idea behind pre-positioning is so we give them a few extra resources for a day or two, and that prevents a larger, more, more destructive fire um, from happening. Slauson says that these resources will be available until tomorrow, but could be extended if the red flag warning continues. Reporting in the news station, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. All right, Monique, thank you. It is another first alert weather day, and yep. we did see more records, I think. More records, and Stacey, you've been telling us the wind is starting to pick up. That's right. That's the red flag warning she was talking about. It's through the uh, Yakima Kittitas Valley, all through the area, set to expire overnight, but it will ex be extended in the Kittitas Valley. 99 right now on our Apple Valley uh, Tanum Ridge Tower Cam. It was kind of shaking around. Those winds have picked up in Yakima, 18 miles an hour, and we're seeing strong gusty winds in the Ellensburg area. Look at these temperatures. It is incredibly hot. 107 Tri-Cities, 101 right now Walla Walla, 106 in Toppenish. We're starting to slightly cool down down into the 90s in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley. Let's talk about records. We had to hit 106 today to break a record in Tri-Cities, 103 in Yakima. Walla Walla, not quite there. 114 was a pretty big day there. Hermiston, 105 and Pendleton, 106. Here's what happened. Our new record in Tri-Cities today, 107. Yakima tied their record back from 1975 at 103. 106 today in Hermiston, new record there and Prosser. 105, so another hot one. And tonight we're going to see warm, breezy winds. Those winds are going to continue to pick up, which also increases that fire danger. So be fire wise out there tonight. Tomorrow, temperatures just slightly cooler, a little bit. You'll notice it, hopefully. Warm and breezy tonight. Again, elevated fire concerns moving through the weekend. A little bit of a cool down for tomorrow. And those triple digits, well, they're going to continue into the weekend. I'll break it all down in my first alert weather forecast. Austin, Alyssa.
Stacy, we'll see you then. Even on some of the hottest days in the Tri-Cities, firefighters still gear up to serve the community. The Pasco Fire Department put on their protective gear and got to work at a house fire this morning. A home on Riverview Drive in Pasco caught fire just before 9. At that point, temperatures were already in the 80s. Fire officials say they were able to save the house, but it does have some serious damage. We also asked how they prepare to handle additional heat when the weather isn't cooperating. We have a rehab center set up. Our folks go in. Uh, they usually go through uh, one tank of air. They come out and they're going to decon and then they're going to uh, get some rest, cool down a little bit, drink water. And then we also take their vital signs and make sure that their, their bodies are racking. No firefighters or residents were hurt during this fire, and officials say they got it under control within minutes of firefighters arriving first to the scene. The U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Washington is asking the courts to condemn an alleged drug house in the 100 block of Ruby Street in Ellensburg. So according to the civil forfeiture complaint, this property has been a hotbed of drug use and drug dealing for years, racking up more than 300 visits from the Ellensburg Police Department over the past decade. Those include things for assault, overdose, and animal cruelty. The complaint also claims EPD conducted multiple controlled buys of illegal narcotics, including fentanyl, meth, and heroin, at that home, which is just down the street from a preschool. The goal of all of this complaint? To get that conduct to stop. Have the home be removed from the current ownership that's allowing the conduct that's listed and then be a resource for having a thriving community rather than creating a, a risk for our, our families and our children. Now, if the complaint is successful, federal officials say they plan to turn the property into something that will be a resource for the community. Real estate scams are common, but one that has been gaining steam has arrived in the Tri-Cities, according to the Benton County Sheriff's Office. And today I actually spoke with a local real estate agent who's sharing her own personal experience with this kind of fraud. And facing a shifting market means you're going to need a little bit more grip. Ariel Hayes owns Skyview Realty, headquartered in Richland. She has spent decades teaching others about buying or selling a home. So she knows all too well about real estate scams, and she's sharing her story with us. Just recently, we were contacted by an individual who told us that he owned a property. It was a vacant piece of land located in Kennewick. The person told us that they lived out of area. They just wanted to go ahead and get it sold. They gave us the address. And for us, it instantly seemed fraudulent. The person gave us the wrong zip code. The Benton County Sheriff's Office says criminals are posing as property owners, fraudulently selling vacant or occupied homes they don't own. I think that these scams have finally made it out to Benton County. These kinds of scams are ones where nefarious people try to find property that it's usually vacant land. The legitimate owner of the property no longer lives in Washington or they may have even passed away. According to the American Land Title Association, when scammers obtain the social security and driver's license numbers of the real owners, they then use email and texts to communicate with potential buyers. Generally speaking, if you own a piece of property, you know what your zip code is. Uh, we've had another person call impersonating a seller and they told me the completely wrong city that their property was located in. And any real estate agent can be targeted as their services are needed to get the fraud in motion. Well, and then if they do pull it off, does that mean it is totally, there's nothing that can be done? It's too late? Um, no, my understanding is the title company's title insurance would likely have to come into play and they would have to legally fight it to undo what was done and the loss of the money most likely the title company's insurance would have to eat it so that's why the title companies are so oh we got to get on top of it we got to do the free education because they're the ones that would be on the hook for it home experts also say as interest rates throttle real estate transactions expect seller impersonation fraud attempts to only increase. 
We have a follow-up tonight. Kennewick police say the 72-year-old man who robbed a bank last month will spend more than a decade in prison. Police say 72-year-old Keith Foster pleaded guilty to robbing the Chase Bank in Kennewick on June 13th. Investigators managed to track Foster down and arrest him within hours of the crime. Now, Foster was sentenced earlier this month, and Kennewick police say today they were able to return that stolen money to the bank. We are talking about slightly, slightly lower temps on the way, but don't celebrate just yet. The triple digits continue, and Stacy is talking about windy conditions that are raising wildfire risk as we head into, as at least we're getting closer to the weekend. That 107, a new record for the Tri-Cities. Hey, and when we take a look, take talk about the heat, excuse me, take a look at this. The road isn't melting, but it did require some repairs. We're talking about that next on Apple Valley News Now at 6. When it comes to legal matters, you need someone you can trust. At Morphine Law Firm, we are sincerely grateful for the last five years of trust and support you've given our firm. Your trust and support have been a major driving force behind our mission for justice. We offer free consultations, and we may not always tell you what you want to hear, but we try to steer you in the right direction. We appreciate your continued trust and confidence in Morphine Law Firm. Chill or grill on a new deck from PAR this season. Get a free Makita Bluetooth radio or portable pellet grill with a qualifying PAR deck package purchase of wood, timber tech, or Trex. Visit PAR.com for details. PAR, go where the builders go. What are you going to build? See, you got yourself a new hat. Yep, <laughs> had to. Fired up to fire Biden. Now, nah, well, first we got to deal with that congressman, Newhouse. That's easy. Not voting Newhouse. You know, he voted to impeach Trump. I'm not voting for no Newhouse. How about Jared Sessler? Sessler the vegan? Jared Sessler's a vegan. He's a vegan, and he wants to tax our beef. There's only one choice. Now, there is only one choice, and that's Tiffany Smiley. Tiffany Smiley it is. And I like Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertising. Wild Horse Resort and Casino is shifting into high gear with the $160,000 Ultimate American Road Trip. Win free play, gas cards, or cruise your way up to $50,000 cash every Friday and Saturday. Earn entries every day and multiply them on select Mondays. Then, on July 27th, win a new Harley Davidson motorcycle. Wild Horse Resort and Casino. More winners, more often. It's the 44th anniversary sale at Walker's Furniture. This is one of our favorite events where we get to celebrate these great years with you. And that means friends and family pricing throughout the store with savings up to 44% off or get no interest financing for up to five years. So you can get it today and pay over time. From our, our family, family to yours, yours, we'd like to thank you for 44 wonderful years. As sheriff, I arrested rioters, rapists, and mass murderers, locked up human traffickers who preyed on women and children. On my watch, everyone was accountable. Despite being the attorney general for 12 years, Bob Ferguson does not take responsibility for the rapid increase in crime and homelessness, businesses moving out of state, and jobs lost. And he thinks he deserves a promotion? Dave Reichert. Chevy lets you begin every day fully charged. So you can go farther. And so can your money. Tow with confidence. Plus, stay connected with available OnStar technology. For summer adventures, Chevy's got you. Get 5750 total value on this Silverado LT when you trade in an eligible vehicle. That's 10% below MSRP. Chevrolet, together let's drive. The best way to end your day. That is good TV. Friends, tonight at 11.05. Welcome back. Check this out. The Tacoma Police Department released body camera video of officers responding to a boat fire on the 4th of July where they rescued two people and a cat from Commencement Bay. They say it took about an hour to get the fire out. The cause is still under investigation, but this stuck out to me, Austin, because people used to believe having a ship's cat was good luck. Considering that everyone made it out okay, I don't know, maybe it's true. 
Well, I was just thinking, yeah, why was there a cat on a boat? Hmm? Got to take the cats with you. Apparently. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, extreme heat like we have been seeing this week is not considered a natural disaster in the United States, although there's a push for that to change. However, we are seeing more wildfires, hurricanes and floods, which are all expected to drive up costs over the years. Tonight, Jen Sullivan has a look at the latest numbers. Violent tornadoes tearing through southern Indiana Tuesday, causing several buildings to collapse. Part of southern Texas underwater after Hurricane Barrel slammed into the Lone Star State Monday morning, causing deadly and catastrophic damage. And firefighters in Northern California battling the Thompson Fire, which has consumed over 3,700 acres and the Lake Fire. According to NOAA, as of July 9th, there have been 15 confirmed weather or climate disasters in the U.S. with losses exceeding $1 billion each just this year. These hefty costs aren't just felt by people living in these affected areas. No one is untouched by the impacts of climate change. Chris Harto works at Consumer Reports. They recently commissioned a study looking at the cost of climate change and found a baby born in the U.S. in 2024 could be on the hook for nearly $500,000 in climate change costs over their lifetime. Drought, wildfires, heavy rains all can affect farming yields and drive up prices of food. To reach that number, they looked at the cost of housing, energy, food, health care and transportation. And these costs will just continue to rise as weather disasters become more frequent. What we're seeing today is really just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what people can expect. We expect without mitigation for things to just keep getting worse. So how do we fix this? We have a lot of technologies available to us that we can deploy that can lower the lower our emissions lower the climate impacts and eliminate a lot of these costs. For Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan. Well, it's not a disaster, but the heat here in Washington is also being blamed for some expensive damage. WashDOT says it got so hot in northwestern Washington this week that a road buckled and had to be repaired. So the pavement itself was OK, but crews say concrete panels underneath expanded and buckled. This happens every year, so they had to dig it all up, fix the concrete, and then patch the road. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. And another record breaking day in our area, 107 degrees right now on our Columbia Point Skycam. Feels like temp 106. Those winds are starting to pick up this afternoon. Our sunset at 848. Let's talk about the air quality. We've been seeing a little bit of smoke and haze in the area. Now we're starting to see some westerly winds. Now it's going to start pushing the smoke out of the area. Air quality is OK. We have a couple spots where it's unhealthy, but uh, up towards the mountains. But we'll continue to see improving air quality. A lot of the smoke Smoke we're seeing is from this fire, the Pioneer Fire near Lake Chelan, uh, 12,265 acres and only 14% contained. So they've been uh, that's been burning for several days and that's putting a lot of smoke in our atmosphere. Uh, Western heat wave continues all across the West Coast. As you can see, though, tomorrow we start getting out of these heat advisory and excessive heat watches uh, in Washington. We still have some in Southern Oregon and all across California, Nevada into Salt Lake City and down into Phoenix. That ridge of high pressure is holding strong there, but it's going to start moving out to the east and that'll give us a little bit of heat relief, not a ton, but a little bit. Want to remind everybody about not leaving anybody in a car. Pets, not OK to put pets in cars and leave them and go inside. Uh, children, you want to be very, very careful. Place a stuffed animal maybe in the front seat to remind yourself or consider maybe uh, setting an alarm on your phone or place a bag or item in the back seat that you need to get to remind you that somebody's in the car. So be safe out there this summer. Fire weather warnings, they continue. They're going to expire tonight at 11. We may see those extended into the weekend as we'll still be dealing with these hot temperatures. But for now, that will expire tonight at 11. We're seeing some strong gusty winds right now in Ellensburg. This is not gust. This is sustained winds at 42 miles an hour, gusting to 50 and 60 miles an hour. Very dangerous this evening in the Kittitas Valley, and those winds will continue to pick up as we move through the evening. Let's talk about that smoke starting to move out thanks to those winds. However, it's moving off to the east, but you still see some heavy smoke mainly heading up towards the Palouse and to the Spokane area and then out in the Blue Mountains. So we are still going to be dealing with that. We'll keep a close eye on our air quality. Let's talk about our temperatures over the next 12 hours. As you see, we gradually cool down 
90 degrees tonight in Tri-Cities at 8 p.m. I was out barbecuing around 9 last night. It was really hot. <laughs> Yakima temperatures were going to be down to 85 by 9 p.m. And those overnight lows only dropping into the 60s. Look at those uh, 70 degree temperatures by midnight in Hermiston. And you'll see the lower temperatures in Walla Walla around 3 o'clock in the morning. Let's take a look at those daytime highs tomorrow. Another hot one, but a little bit cooler than today. Breezy winds on Thursday for the Yakima and Kittitas Valleys. Temperatures cooling to the 90s the first part of next week. We stay in the triple digits though in the Columbia Basin. It is dangerously dry and will continue to be hot. Uh, Walla Walla gets a little bit of relief under 100 tomorrow back to the hundreds for the weekend. We're keeping an eye on a possibility of some dry thunderstorms moving through Sunday, uh, Central Oregon and possibly the foothills of the Blues areas like Walla Walla. Again, dangerously hot and dry in Hermiston also breaking records today. So a lot going on weather wise. We still want to be fire wise out there and stay very hydrated because we're not really cooling down anytime soon. Austin, Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. Well, coming up, we're headed indoors for a very good day in court. A year is a long time in sobriety, let me tell you. We are going to hear from the latest graduate of Benton County's mental health court. That's still ahead on Apple Valley News now. Should we take a look at what do you think? So here from design and products to removal and installation, Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit rebath.com and save $500 off your tub or shower remodel. Have you heard about refractive lens exchange? K2 Vision RLE means no glasses, no contacts, and no readers permanently and you'll never develop a cataract. No glasses or readers, K2 Vision RLE. Goodwill provides opportunities for those that might have barriers to employment. Those barriers could be disabilities all the way up to recently incarcerated, and our job is to find a way to give these folks the skills to find gainful employment in the community. We provide such a wide variety of training. Our ECC organizations can get somebody a job. The relationships that are built through those programs gives these organizations a longtime employee if they so wish. Goodwill. Donate. Shop. Impact locally. When it comes to your health, timing is everything. Health First Urgent Care is your reliable health care solution, locally owned and operated, providing care to our community. With locations in Pasco and Richland, we're open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. No need to wait in long lines or rush to the ER for minor concerns. At Health First Urgent Care, we've got you covered with on-site x-rays and short wait times. Your health is our priority. Walk-ins are welcome. You can get the care you need when you need it. Health First Urgent Care, because your well-being comes first. Attention all Hanford and PNNL workers and contractors. Join United Energy Workers Healthcare for a free lunch and learn resource fair on Friday, July 19 at the Three Rivers Convention Center in Kenwick from 11 to 2 p.m. You may qualify for additional healthcare benefits and financial compensation. Learn more at our free lunch and learn resource fair on Friday, July 19 at the Three Rivers Convention Center in Kenwick from 11 to 2 p.m. STCU and Apple Valley News now continue to honor volunteers by sharing their stories and awarding their charities $1,000 each. If you know someone in Benton and Franklin counties who's making a difference and taking that extra step to make our communities better, please tell us about them today. Just click on Volunteers Count on the Contest tab at applevalleynewsnow.com for the STCU Volunteers Count nomination form. Volunteers Count from STCU and Apple Valley News Now. Stop thinking, let things happen, and be the ball. Better yet, see the ball with K2 Vision RLE. K2 Vision RLE. No readers, glasses, contacts, or cataracts. So what do you think about these? We're going to take everything. From up. design and products to removal and installation, Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,000 off your complete bathroom remodel. Well, usually when people have to go to court, it's not a good thing. But today, the kind of scene we love to tell you about in the Benton County Justice Center, they celebrated the latest graduate of mental health court, which gives people a second chance if they're willing to put in the work for recovery. Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma takes us to the courtroom. Welcome. Um, obviously, we have a graduation today. So congratulations, Trent, on this graduation. I, I want you to know what a pleasure it's been to have you in our program. Um, 
your change has been dramatic uh, and been wonderful to see and it's been wonderful to be a part of. A year is a long time in sobriety, let me tell you. <laughs> I know it's hard to like get over the trust thing in the beginning, or at least it was for me, and it seems kind of stereotypical of people that are in our situation where it's like hard to trust uh, the system, I guess. Um, so deciding that this is just a stepping stone and staying diligent in the beginning, trying to check off all of your boxes, I think is really important because you can get a lot out of the working with merit and working with a counselor and with all of that. And I'm happy to sign that dismissal order and once doing that, you'll have no criminal history. Always a great moment there. Now outside, it is hot, it's hazy, it must be July in Eastern Washington, but Stacy is talking about some changing conditions coming up in your first alert forecast. Jessica Julol and Jules Sperling. Good morning, Northwest. Weekdays on your side. It's a celebration of cab this summer in Walla Walla. Take part in special tastings of rare library wines, enjoy intimate winemaker dinners, and gain access to premium cabs during the wine panel presentation and tasting. Tickets are on sale now at wallawallawine.com. Stage. You ever been in a club in a cute little outfit? You're like, I got this for $22. I'm going to meet me a million dollar man in my $22 dress. No, you're not. Legends Casino Hotel Toppinish, Friday, September 13th. You be in here dancing, feeling all good and stuff. You raise your arm up and you got a big old hole in your armpit. Get tickets now at the Legends Gift Shop and Ticketmaster.com. Legends Casino, Friday, September 13th. Invest in yourself. That's all I'm saying. Tiffany Smiley is not who she says she is. Tiffany Smiley started a PAC claiming to raise money to support conservative candidates, but contributions were funneled to pay off her own million dollar campaign debt. Of the almost $800,000 she raised, only $24,800 went to candidates. Instead, Tiffany used the money on luxury travel and to try to pay off her massive debt. Tiffany Smiley deceived her donors. Don't let her deceive you. I'm Dan Newhouse and I approve this message. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's nationwide 5G coverage? Yeah. Download our app. Want to do it even faster? Here we go. U.S. Cellular works great out here. Wow, still have 5G here too. Hey, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec room. Yep, it's working. Try out our nationwide 5G coverage free for 30 days. Download the U.S. Cellular Try Us app today. It's the 44th anniversary sale at Walker's Furniture. This is one of our favorite events where we get to celebrate these great years with you. And that means friends and family pricing throughout the store with savings up to 44% off or get no interest financing for up to five years. So you can get it today and pay over time. From, From our, our family, family to yours, yours, we'd like to thank you for 44 wonderful years. It's a celebration of cab this summer in Walla Walla. Take part in special tastings of rare library wines, enjoy intimate winemaker dinners, and gain access to premium cabs during the wine panel presentation and tasting. Tickets are on sale now at wallawallawine.com. Summer in our area usually means great weather. Hot days and warm evenings are the norm. But every so often, a storm moves in with dangerous wind, lightning, and rain. Count on Apple Valley News Now First Alert Weather to warn you in advance of coming storms. With First Alert Weather, we're helping you plan ahead so you'll be ready when the weather gets a little crazy. Stacy Lee evenings, Josh Colberth mornings. We're Apple Valley News Now. First Alert Weather on your side. On your side. Always on your side. Welcome back. NASA gave an update today on the troubled Boeing Starliner space capsule. After months of delays, you'll remember it finally made it to the International Space Station. But now even more problems have been stopping the Starliner from um, coming back to Earth. 
The two test pilots who took the Starliner to the ISS say they are enjoying the unexpected extra time in orbit. Meanwhile, Boeing and NASA are running tests here on Earth, trying to replicate the Starliner's problems and find a fix. Every time I, I see the <laughs> hair go up, I try not to laugh. Uh, here on Earth, we are still talking about extreme heat. Stacey Lee has the details in her first alert forecast. And we're also hearing from some local businesses about how they manage the triple digit temperatures. The news at 630 starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now at 630 on your side. Well, the heat is on. It is really important to know the signs that you've had enough and it's time to take a break. Yeah, that's for sure. Apple Valley News Now's Riley Fitzgerald and Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbreth start our 630 half hour with team weather coverage. So often we tell people, especially in this kind of heat, if you don't have to be outside, if you could just stay in the AC, that would be mm -hmm. preferable. But, you know, there are people that have to work jobs outside sometimes. So we know that people can't always necessarily avoid that. Yeah, like food truck workers whose job is serving food outdoors. Yes. So we talked to some of the food truck workers at Summer's Hub about how they're staying cool during this heat wave. So I've got three rapid fire questions about what it's like to work out here in the hot temps. So what do you have back there to keep your guys cool? <laughs> I have an AC, that's why <laughs> we stay cool. We have a AC and we have other ventilador. We have a fan that sprays water. Fan yeah. with water, but it's, it's too hot. It's really it's hot. hot. Nothing. <laughs> we usually have an air conditioner which is not working very well and then because we have a hood, it sucks out all the cold air with the hot air. It, it makes no difference how much cold air you pump in because the hood sucks it out. It's non-discriminate. It doesn't care. And do you prefer to be out serving here in the heat in 100 plus or in sub 30? Oh, I'd rather be in sub 30 because all that heating equipment makes it warm in here and we can do cold. We can do cold easy. <laughs> it's hard to decide. Yeah. Maybe when it's caliente. Maybe when it's hotter, yeah. Yeah. Because when it's colder, you have AC, but when it's cold, you, have, you just have to stay warm. And what is the hottest item on the menu? Um, oh, she's, uh, our rancher is really hot and our brisket mac or our mac bowls, which you get our smoked mac and cheese topped with brisket, pulled pork, or both if you would prefer. Our menu is popular one is a volcano roll and golden crunchy roll. Those three are very popular roll from here. Yeah, that's more of people try to. So if you're not properly hydrated in heat like this, heat illness can become a big factor and could set in pretty quickly. So let's go back into the AC, let's go back inside, and let's parse out the difference between heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Well, now that we're back inside, back in the AC, we can talk about the different heat elements and the call to action for both of them, heat exhaustion versus heat stroke. So for heat exhaustion, you'll feel faint or dizzy, there will be excessive sweating. You'll have cool, pale, clammy skin, nausea or vomiting, a rapid, weak pulse, remember that one, and muscle cramps. And the call to action for that would be to get to a cooler place with AC, drink water if fully conscious, take a cool shower, and use cool compresses. Okay, here's the more serious version of that. Here's the more serious element in heat stroke. A throbbing headache, no sweating, red, hot, and dry skin as, a, as opposed to the cool and pale and clammy skin, nausea or vomiting, and instead of that weak pulse, a rapid, strong pulse. You may lose consciousness. Here's the call to, call to action for this one, very important. You have to call 911 immediately. You have to move the person to a cooler place, cool, using cool baths or cloths, and do not give anything to drink. It's just a little bit too late at that point. So we're going to go ahead and bring Riley back in here, who's also enjoying the AC. <laughs> she talked to the health district. Yes. Riley, what can you tell us? Yeah, so I talked to the health district about what we can do to prevent these heat-related illnesses in the first place. Hydrate even before you are going to an event. Make sure you go into the event really well hydrated. Take water with you, and water is honestly your, your best solution. So stay inside if you can, but also drink lots of water. Reporting for Apple Valley News Now, I'm Riley Fitzgerald. And I'm Josh Colbert. Thanks, guys. Well, usually p libraries are open as cooling centers in the extreme heat, but the Pasco branch of the Mid-Columbia Libraries had to shut down this morning because of an issue with their HVAC system. The city of Pasco got crews working quickly. They had that system fixed within a few hours. The library was actually able to reopen at 3 o'clock this afternoon. 
It is scheduled to be open until 7 on weekdays. Well, let's turn now to our Stacey Lee. Mm -hmm. She is tracking the latest weather-wise. Hello That's there. That's right. Stay hydrated. Stay in the AC. All great advice because look at these temperatures right now. 107 degrees on our Pasco Skycam. Our feels like temp 106. Our winds are picking up. We're feeling a 13 mile an hour winds here. Much gustier in other places this afternoon. Let's talk about those records. We definitely broke some around the area and those temperatures still nice and hot. Still in the 90s here in the foothills of the Blues. Pendleton, a staggering 102. Hermiston, 105. It's 107 right now in Tri-Cities. We've calmed, uh, cooled down to the 80s and 90s in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley. So our new records today, Tri-Cities hit 107. Yakima tied their record set back in 1975 at 103. A new record for Hermiston today at 106. And Prosser hit their record also at 105. Tonight, we're going to be cooling down, but you'll see those breezy winds picking up. 67, a little bit cooler than we were last night with those winds kind of helping that out. Uh, that ridge of high pressure moving out, so we'll see slightly cooler temperatures tomorrow, but those breezy winds are a concern and definitely increases our fire danger. So warm and breezy tonight, little cooler tomorrow, elevated fire concerns. We want to be fire wise and those triple digits. Well, they're going to continue right into the weekend. I'll tell you all about it in my first alert full weather forecast. Austin, Alyssa. We will check in with you then. Stacy. thank you. We are going to continue seeing those triple digits into the weekend, but the weather will not stop the annual C3 Slam Tournament in Richland. The Tri-City Sunrise Rotary hosts the annual three-on-three -three basketball tournament here in the city of Richland, right off of George Washington Way. Now that's going to be shut down for the tournament, which starts Friday evening. Terry Marie Fleischman explains how they are getting ready to put the tournament on despite the extreme heat. We are putting in many cooling areas. Uh, Sunbelt Rental is helping us with putting in like a human car wash where you're just going to walk through a series of tents with misters and fans and water to allow people to cool down. We've built in two half hour reprieve sessions. So at 11 a.m. and at 2, 2 p.m. all court play will stop to give everybody about a half hour opportunity to regroup, rehydrate, get their breath, so to speak, cool down, and then we'll resume play again. And by the way, the closure will be this Friday and the tournament is Saturday. Now the tournament raises money for a team of volunteers to provide eye surgeries to people in Africa. Last year, around $50,000 was raised for that cause. Right now, NATO leaders are in Washington, D.C. for a summit that is expected to result in a pathway for Ukraine to join the alliance. But that's not the only issue being talked about. Julia Benbrook explains. World leaders converging in Washington for a landmark summit to commemorate 75 years of NATO and to decide how best to support Ukraine amid the continued threat of a hostile and undeterred Russia. The outcome of this war will shape global security for decades to come. This summit comes amid mounting concerns in the United States and abroad about President Joe Biden's fitness for office after last month's presidential debate against former President Donald Trump. Look, I have a cognitive test every single day. Every day I have that test. Everything I do. You know, not only am I campaigning, but I'm running the world. The U.S. has historically been the biggest financial contributor to NATO. And while Biden is a staunch proponent of the alliance, Trump purportedly threatened to withdraw from NATO while he was in office and has refused to commit to defending member nations that don't meet spending expectations. Views he has maintained during his 2024 campaign. One of the presidents of a big country stood up and said, well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, Will you protect us? No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. The political uncertainty in the U.S. leaves NATO countries contemplating what the alliance would look like if Trump wins the election in November. During his opening speech on Tuesday, Biden announced plans to supply new air defenses to Ukraine. On the sidelines of this summit is Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who said that everyone is waiting for November. But he urged international leaders not to wait till November or any other month and promptly aid his war-torn country. Reporting at the White House, I'm Julia Benbrook.
Well, locally tonight, a new day, a new heat record broken in the Tri-Cities. The haze is also here, but Stacy is tracking windy conditions moving in tonight in your first alert forecast. And with the heat comes added risk for kids in hot cars. Tonight, we're talking about some of the risk factors parents need to be aware of. ET and Extra, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Extra, extra. Smoke City for Less is your one-stop shop in Kennewick, Richland, West Richland, Hermiston, Road 68 in Pasco, and the new location on West Court Street. July 10th is a 710 sale from 8 to 10 p.m. at all six locations. This year is off the charts. Get 50% off glass. Free goodie bags for the first 300 people through the door. Free tacos from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. only at our Kennewick location. Don't miss the huge savings on the one day July 10th, 710 sale at all six locations. Smoke City for Less. We smoke the competition. Have you heard about Refractive Lens Exchange? K2 Vision RLE means no glasses, no contacts, and no readers permanently. And you'll never develop a cataract. No glasses or readers. K2 Vision RLE. Okay, ideas, where are we going? I got one. I got one. What about a comedy show? I've seen you, I've swiped on you, no. <laughs> oh, I got an idea. I feel hungry. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Whatever your vibe. Tacos. Definitely tacos. Find it in the all new, all hybrid Camry. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome to Beaver Valley Lodge, your rustic lodging and event venue in the beautiful Leavenworth, Washington. Experience the great outdoors and enjoy the beauty of the mountains as you stay with us on our 50 acres in the Cascade foothills. Whether you're joining us for a wedding, retreat, vacation, or family reunion, we're here to make your stay unforgettable. We make it our goal for you to come as a guest, but leave as a friend. Book your stay today at beavervalleylodge.com. Bye, Mom. Soccer is my life. I've been playing for as long as I can remember. Scoring goals, hanging with my friends, the travels, it's really fun. Before hitting the field, there's this tradition I have, grabbing snacks. Pre-game feel, you know? Whether it's gearing up for an away game or it's a quick stop, my Hapo debit card is always with me. Just like my teammates trust me on the field, my mom trusts me to make smart choices off the field. Where do you, credit union? Our new orthopedic regenerative medicine clinic with Prosser Memorial Health orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Jeffrey B. Higgs, is now offering a variety of treatments, including platelet-rich plasma injections to enhance injury recovery, promote healing, and treat pain associated with early osteoarthritis. To schedule an appointment, call Prosser Orthopedic Center at 509-786-5599 or learn more at prosserhealth.org. This is how we care. A drunk driver just blew a stop sign and we collided. My vehicle was total. What about the vehicle? How am I gonna get to work? How am I gonna continue taking care of my family? I contacted Tamaki Law and I told him about what had happened. Tamaki made it very simple, very easy. It was a stress relief for me. If you happen to be in an accident, call Tamaki Law. Welcome back. We are still seeing children dying in vehicles every summer, and every single one of those cases is preventable. Yeah, ABC's Perry Russum spoke to an auto safety expert about how to keep the kids in your life safe. It's easy to think it couldn't happen to you. We all think that, you know, we would never forget our children with us. And as precious as they are to us, for our brains, we go into autopilot mode. It's an unfortunate reality that children die of heat stroke in hot cars. Dr. Emily Thomas, manager of auto safety at Consumer Reports, says even when it's not that hot outside, temperatures inside a car can rise to a dangerous level. We did testing on a 60 degree day and within one hour, the inside of the vehicle got to be over 100 degrees. The heat poses a greater risk for children. Their bodies heat up three to five times faster than adults, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. Dr. Thomas says parking in the shade or cracking a window is not enough. And although some newer vehicles have alerts to remind you to check the back seat, Dr. Thomas says oftentimes the tech does not directly sense for a rear passenger, so it's important not to rely on these systems. Oftentimes these cases occur when there is a change in routine, 
parents or caregivers are sleep deprived and they're stressed, which is very typical. And so we really encourage caregivers to do a few different things to help make it part of your routine. Even when your child is not traveling with you, Dr. Thomas suggests keeping something of yours in the back seat. Whether it's your jacket or your purse, a laptop bag, something of yours that at the end of the trip, you have to go to the back seat to go retrieve. Then when your child is with you, it's already part of your brain's memory and part of your habit to do so. And so you will check the back seat at the end of the trip. And when your child is with you, put something of theirs on the front seat, like a stuffed animal or sippy cup. It provides your brain with a visual trigger that will tell you to check the back seat because your child is with you. And if you don't have children, Dr. Thomas says you can be a good neighbor. You can keep your vehicles at home always locked and the keys out of reach so that children in your neighborhood cannot access vehicles and get trapped inside. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Stacy Lee. And all very good advice there about hot cars. All right, hot day. Yes, Health First Tower Cam tonight, 107. Seeing those windmills moving out there. Our humidity very low, 17%. Our sunset at 848. Those winds are blowing about 13 miles an hour in the Tri-Cities area. We're seeing our air quality start to improve. We've had some moderate air quality problems due to smoke in the area, but we're having westerly winds and those smoke uh, levels will get better. Our air quality will get better. We're still seeing those smoke from the Pioneer Fire. It's near Lake Chelan. It's up to over 12,000 acres burned and only 14% contained. It's the largest wildfire in our state right now, so we're keeping a close eye on that. Western U.S. heat wave also continues, but you can notice here, Washington State, most of our advisories are going to start ending, uh, moving down into Southern Oregon, California under heat advisories, as well as Nevada into uh, Salt Lake City and even Idaho. That uh, weather system is going to start moving its way to the east, so we'll start heat seeing those heat advisories in places like Montana. But for now, very, very hot with record high temperatures still impacting uh, the majority of the West Coast. So a little bit of relief coming, not a lot. Now our fire weather warnings are starting to expire tonight. They may get reissued over the weekend, but we are seeing high fire danger threat, especially in the Kittitas Valley tonight with some strong gusty winds. Yakima's winds are also picking up, so any fires that start would rapidly spread. Here's those winds coming down from Ellensburg into Yakima, moving their way into the Columbia Basin, so fire danger very, very high. The good news with the winds is going to get most of that smoke out of our area, moving off to the east, up towards the Palouse and the Spokane region, so that should improve the air quality in in our region. Let's talk about those temperatures tomorrow. Get an early start because look at by 8 o'clock in the morning, already 72 degrees, and you travel towards those triple digits later in the afternoon. 66 degrees at 6 a.m. in Yakima, and you'll be up to 90 degrees by noon tomorrow. Here's what it looks like in Hermiston. Those temperatures also starting out in the upper 60s, close to 70, uh, 77 at 9 o'clock in the morning. And in Walla Walla, you'll be up to 95 degrees by 2 p.m. So another warm day ahead, just slightly cooler than what we have been seeing for the last couple of days. Here's your daytime highs for the region. Triple digits still possible in Hermiston and Tri Cities, just under those triple digits in the rest of the area. Here's what it looks like for Yakima seven day planner. Look for some breezy winds continuing triple digits through Sunday, cooling down into the 90s Monday, Tuesday. We're staying in the triple digits through the Columbia Basin all the way into next week where hopefully things start to cool down once we get past Wednesday. Keeping a close eye, Walla Walla, foothills of the blues on Sunday. We could see some dry lightning storms come through the area, which also increases uh, fire danger. So be on the lookout for that coming up this weekend. And in Hermiston, again, triple digit temperatures cooling into those upper 90s as we get towards the end of the week. So overall, very hot, very dry fire dangers up there. Stay hydrated and be fire wise. Austin, Alyssa. All right, Stacy. thank you. We have made it to the middle of the week, and that means it is time for Operation Best Friend. Tonight, we're introducing you to BART. Stay with us. It's a celebration of CAB this summer in Walla Walla. Take part in special tastings of rare library wines, enjoy intimate winemaker dinners, and gain access to premium CABs during the wine panel presentation and tasting. Tickets are on sale now at wallawallawine.com. 
dishwasher on the fritz. Laundry, giving you fits. A water heater that quits. In a world without Culligan, hard water makes life harder. Get a Culligan softer, the world's best. Put your water worries to rest. Wild Horse Resort and Casino is shifting into high gear with the $160,000 Ultimate American Road Trip. Win free play, gas cards, or cruise your way up to $50,000 cash every Friday and Saturday. Earn entries every day and multiply them on select Mondays. Then, on July 27th, win a new Harley Davidson motorcycle. Wild Horse Resort and Casino. More winners, more often. Whether you're most at home surrounded by lots of friends, hanging with your one best friend for an afternoon cruise, or... <laughs> no way! Not a chance. Uh, could you show us something with a little less horsepower? I was thinking the same thing. At McCurley, we're here to help you find the vehicle that's right for you, because it's your way home. Find your way home in a Mazda certified pre-owned vehicle from McCurley Mazda. So you got yourself a new hat. Yep, had to. <laughs> Fired up to fire Biden. Now, nah, well, first we got to deal with that congressman, Newhouse. That's easy. Not voting Newhouse. You know, he voted to impeach Trump. I'm not voting for no Newhouse. How about Jared Sessler? Sessler the vegan? Jared Sessler's a vegan. He's a vegan, and he wants to tax our beef. There's only one choice. Now, there is only one choice, and that's Tiffany Smiley. Tiffany Smiley it is. And I like her. Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertising. Tiffany Smiley is not who she says she is. Tiffany Smiley started a PAC claiming to raise money to support conservative candidates, but contributions were funneled to pay off her own million-dollar campaign debt. Of the almost $800,000 she raised, only $24,800 went to candidates. Instead, Tiffany used the money on luxury travel and to try to pay off her massive debt. Tiffany Smiley deceived her donors. Don't let her deceive you. I'm Dan Newhouse, and I approve this message. Have you heard about Refractive Lens Exchange? K2 Vision RLE means no glasses, no contacts, and no readers permanently. And you'll never develop a cataract. No glasses or readers. K2 Vision RLE. It's a celebration of CAB this summer in Walla Walla. Take part in special tastings of rare library wines, enjoy intimate winemaker dinners, and gain access to premium CABs during the wine panel presentation and tasting. Tickets are on sale now at wallawallawine.com. The best way to end your day. That is good TV. Friends, tonight at 11.05. Welcome back. It is that time of the week again. Operation Best Friend. That is when we introduce you to a pet in need of a permanent home. Bart was injured as a young dog and one of his legs was amputated, but he's got a lot of heart and could be the perfect addition for your family. Take a look. All right, I'm Danielle. I am a volunteer with Mikey's Chance Canine Rescue, and this is Bart. Um, he has been with us for a couple years and he's going on, he'll be three in this September. Um, and he, he's been with us for a while just because of his um, unique situation. So he's a tripod, he has three legs and he had an injury when he was about one years old that required um, one of his hind legs to be amputated. And he needs to be the only pet in your house. So that just makes it a little bit more difficult for him to find his family, but he is an extremely, loving and loyal dog. We think he's a black mouth cur mix um, with some pit bull in there and you can tell by his big blockhead and <laughs> his um, wide shoulders. And I don't know that, I think his right type of family would be somebody that, um, or person, kind of a calm environment, um, children eight years and older just because kids at that age are, um, you know, more aware of their surroundings and more gentle and things like that and can be more respectful of an animal. If he does go on walks, it just needs to be short little ones. He loves just laying in the yard and sunbathing as well. And um, he absolutely loves car rides. And whoever adopts Bart will get a $50 gift card from Paws Natural Pet Emporium and they can use it there to buy Bart whatever he may need or love, like his soft uh, toys and treats. So what do you think about these? 
we're gonna take everything. From out. design and products to removal and installation, Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,000 off your complete bathroom remodel. Warning your air conditioner unit needs service. Would you like me to call Bruce? Yes, call Bruce. Thanks to today's modern technology, it's never been easier to call Bruce Heating and Air. When your AC unit needs serviced, call Bruce. Oh my gosh. Let's get this party started. Just make sure you call the right Bruce. Now through September 30th, receive rebates up to $1,850 off on a new Dykin Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. Let Quantum Legal protect you and be your champion on the legal battleground. Whether it's a fight for justice in the face of criminal accusations, personal injury claims, or workplace accidents, Quantum Legal is your unwavering ally. An aggressive offense is your greatest defense. Quantum Legal is the sword and shield you've been seeking. Your best defense, Quantum Legal. Okay guys, we're all here because US Cellular has an incredible deal. Right now, you can get four lines for just $90. Sorry, just double checking. Is it really that good of a deal? Yeah, it's a huge deal. You also get four free phones of your choice. Four free phones. Wow, I just triple checked and that's awesome. So go get that deal. Or at least help me clip. Do you check expiration dates? Oh, I can do that. Great. Get four free phones of your choice with no trade-in needed, plus four lines for $90. Swing into Fred's Appliance today for our 4th of July celebration and discover unbeatable deals on the largest selection of in-stock get-it-today inventory in our region. Take home this LG refrigerator for just $16.99 after a $100 mail-in rebate. This LG not only boasts a smart cooling system that adapts to maintain optimal temperatures, but also features a spacious, customizable layout, perfect for any family size. We sell appliances, only appliances. I felt like there was just no answers to get out of the anxiety and the depression that I had. Introducing Neurostim TMS, Washington's leading provider of transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS therapy. TMS is not shock therapy. It's an FDA-approved, easy outpatient experience and covered by all major medical insurances. There's nothing better than just being able to enjoy life again. Reach out to Neurostim TMS today and rediscover the light and joy in your life. This is my favorite. Okay. Hun, what do you think of this one? From design and products to removal and installation, Rebath is with you through every step of your remodel. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $1,000 off your complete bathroom remodel. Jessica Jalol and Jules Sperling. Good morning, Northwest. Weekdays on your side. Welcome back. We always love to take a look at your pictures from around the region. That's right. Viewer photos, a fan favorite. Here you go. Rafael out cruising around Columbia Park, and he got himself a heron, it looks like. Yep. A great photo, Rafael. Remember, if you'd like to have your photo featured, you can use that QR code on the right side of your screen or simply go to applevalleynewsnow.com, click on the weather tab, and that's where you will upload your photos. Let's take a look at those temps tomorrow. Warm day again, a little bit cooler, tiny bit. <laughs> But still warm out the door, looking in the 70s, uh, close to 80 in Walla Walla in the morning. 90s by lunchtime, triple digits or close to by dinner time. Let's take a peek at that seven day planning forecast. Yep. <laughs> Just gotta hot. have lots of water. Just drink <laughs> lots of water and uh, Walla Walla will keep a close eye on that area for some dry thunderstorms possible later into the weekend. All right, we'll keep, a, keep up with it. That's case, right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, and thank you for watching. You can always find the latest on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. We'll be back at 11, hoping your news is good news. Good night.